Man, all right, we have been waiting a long time to have a lot of models for you to see. And uh, on the lot behind me right here, we have got a ton of models. Let's walk through some models, see what you think. And I'm gonna try to point out all the details that I can that shows how we build, what we do. Now, it's all gonna be the edification of it. It's gonna be the pretty part of it, the insides and the outsides. I'm gonna show you the cuts. I'm gonna show you the quality of the craftsmanship and these beautiful style homes, all right? So come on, let's take a, let's take a walk. Now this, people have been asking, say, hey, what about your RJO and your freedom style home, right? Well, this is an RJO. Now, the reason we call it an RJO is because it's just a simple, straight gable shot home, right? But what we did is we beefed up the RJO to have the model features, which is the LP siding. This is a massive siding that's almost maintenance free. Really, it's, it's, um, it's a, what, I think a 50 year warranty on this stuff. You don't have to paint it, it comes painted. It's done in a way that this corner actually is one solid piece of wood. It's not two of them overlapped. It's got a nail flange behind it. Get right here and you can see, see how that's all caulked in right there really nice. And this is a, a special type of caulk that it gives and takes. So it's not one that cracks and you gotta go over it and you gotta do it every other year. This is gonna last, right? Now the RJO had the straight gable, like I said, but as you can see, we put a 30 inch sweeping overhang on all of our new models. I did that because I wanted to emulate the old craftsman style. I don't know, I was out in California and I seen these and one, this one's a, a black, Ah, black, it looks black, doesn't it? We got a dark blue, it looks black almost. But you can see the rafter tails, how they're sticking out in the fascia board and a gutter. This is a corbel bracket that we have here. And then the polyurethane overhangs. That's a 30 inch overhang that get, protects this door, protects the gable. And also, this is kind of hard to see because it's the same color, is that you got board and batten, then you got lap siding, the freeze boards and the the beams that are coming out, they're holding up the corp. This is a lot of going on for a carpenter. Now, I'm gonna show you one just like it, with, but it's got a dormer, is right behind here. And because of the different colors, you guys can see now how the rafters, the freeze board. Now the freeze board is that white board up against the polyurethane overhang, right? That soffit, we call it. So that's a freeze board. Then you got the board and batten, which is the vertical siding, a, a light that's in the middle, another separate, I like putting this white board across the, the bottom. It separates the gable from this lap siding. And then you've got your window trim, your corbel brackets, your white corners with the red. This is a popping color right here because this, the distinction in the different colors where you got that kind of beige or a, a light brown with the white, with the, you know, the polyurethane overhang, the white fascia. Now, even our fascia boards that we go up here, that's that, that's that triangle. So that fascia board is a wider board. A lot of times contractors and builders will save a lot of money and not put an overhang on a house. Uh, a lot of the inexpensive homes you'll see in the older cities, and even in today, mobile homes, they won't put an overhang. That's an overhang. Look at the amount of work in this overhang. You have this overhang, you have that overhang, you got all the rafters. These are exposed rafter tails all along the whole length of this house. Gutters, gutters, more fascia boards, white trim. So above that egress window, there's a white board with fake, with you know faux, faux rafters, then another fascia board with the gutter on it, and then the roof. There's so much going on on the outside of this house. If you take the prices of our homes that we have right here, go to our website, check out the five, I think five models that we have, check these out right here and compare them to anybody in the country, but make sure that you compare the carpentry skills and the architecture that we have offered in these models. My philosophy is I don't want to build a tiny house. I actually want to build a tiny house. It's like, I want to take a house, a big home, and make it look tiny, okay? So I'm not trying to build a big, huge box. And I love the boxes because it gives you all the volume. I've done this because most of these homes right here 
all the living is on one floor, all right? Almost all. Now, we have a loft. When you have a dormer like that, there's a nice loft. The headroom is going to be about 43 to 45 inches in headroom. Perfect. Got staircases. You can gingerly walk up. We only do our, our raft, I mean our staircases, the, the risers, which is how far you lift your leg, about seven and a half to seven and three quarters. That's what you would find in any residential home in the country. I try to do that. I don't like having steps that are 12 inches high. The only home that does that is our Birmingham because it is so big and long, it is made for single floor living. The upstairs loft is only really for grandkids, storage, maybe a guest who wants to stay. It is not for everyday living up and down those stairs. And I'll show you that here in a minute. All right, so as you can see, walk with me, look here. So we got this one here, here. This, you guys have said, hey, where is the Freedom Style, right? This is the Freedom Style home. It has the, it has the model overhang, the colors with the LP siding, and in here, the floor plan. Let me get up in here real quick. The floor plan is exactly like the Freedom. You walk in, bathroom here, kitchen here, and then you got your living room. The only thing is it's detailed out, it is done, it's painted, it's polyurethane, everything is completely done, and we threw a farm style sink and some other features. Let me grab this right here. Come in. All right. So as you can see, in our model homes, even though it's a freedom style, it's the old freedom, but we just renamed it. You have the farm style sink. You have the thicker countertops. You have just, a, you got the polyurethanes. It's done. All you have to do is bring in your clothes, your toothbrush, put some blinds on it, turn the TV on, and you're done, right? You're living, you're at home. This is all polyurethane. The ceiling's polyurethane. Yep. We took the barn door off because it was transporting here. And then you've got a 36 inch shower, this nice sink, toilet. This is our, our Freedom and RJO floor plan. Now the reason I did this type of floor plan to, to get the kitchen and bathroom completely done is because I've designed this like our Freedom and RJO is to keep this big, huge living room open. And that's what I've done here, all right? So it's actually designed around giving more room to this. Now, because this is eight foot wide and this is a freedom, you access the loft with a ladder. There's no staircase in an eight foot wide house. Remember the old RJO and freedom? We put the bathroom, we put the water heater up top. That's because we didn't want to waste a lot of space down here for the water heater. So we've been able to put it up there. Yeah. And so what we've, we've got white walls. These are actually T and G, tongue and groove, pre-painted white walls, polyurethane trim. We got your sconce lights inside, mini split, ceiling fan, farm style sink, polyurethane walls, ceiling. Oh, I think it's even got, um, don't know if this model has it. Most of our models have got a, an air exchanger in them. So there you have it. People have been asking about freedom style homes. RJOs, this is a freedom style home, but it's completely done, right? So let's go see this. I wanna see if we can get this Birmingham. Come on, let's go look at a Birmingham. Come on, Ace. Come on, buddy, get out of there. Yep, I gotta hold the camera. Look, we've got homes. I like that green right inside there. Look great there. Look at that. Now that's another color variation. And now this is a 10 foot wide house right through there. There you go. All right. So if you come through here, there's the air exchanger I was just talking to you about. All right. And the board and bat and the lap siding. Do you know, let me, you know what? Let me point out to you guys. Say, Randy, what happened to the uh, Freedom and the RJO that was all wood? The reason I changed up to the LP siding is and, and not do the RJO and Freedom that we did, we were doing wood and they were shipping them out across the country and we we're finding that this wood was moving so much. I had wood floors, pine wood floors, 
pine siding. It's what we use here in East Tennessee and probably the whole eastern part of the United States. When it started shipping out west and it was super dry out there, the wood started shrinking, people started complaining, we had warranty issues, and it was costing us way too much money. And we said, we can't go there. So I went with a product that has simulated wood, painted, and we ha I had to, I had to appease our, our masses and I'm trying to like, okay, how can I offer a really good uh, painted siding that will last a long time, that won't move on us, that'll help us on our warranty issues, help you for a longer lasting home and not charge hardly that much more. We're trying to, you know, and so we're not making any more profit with adding this and in, in, in supplying the more amenities. It's just that we are providing, I think, a better product, right? That's longer lasting for you guys. Now, when we had to take our model homes and increase these materials, then it left that bottom tier empty. That $20,000, $25,000 home, ding, ding. That's where the Incredibox came from. I said, I still want to offer a $20,000 and $25,000 house. And that's where that came from. So we got our twenty twenty five thousand dollars in credit box, which is sixteen and twenty foot. Then we've got our um, we're going to come out with our Woody line. I know everybody's excited about the Woody line, and we're trying to put one together for you. And then we've got the model home. The model home is going to be up at the top end with amenities and pricing, and then the the Woody line will be right in the middle, right? And that's what we're what we're hoping we get bottom, middle, and top end for all these homes. So there you have it. Again, Corbels. Uh, stained or polyurethane overhang freeze boards that you guys can see again here I want to just point out look at the caulk in the the cuts in here that's going on I, I know we didn't get a really um, close-up view on the inside of these homes and let's go and maybe we can see if this door is open in here I can see I really planned this out and have stairs and all this stuff ready to go I think this one was at the show in Raleigh yeah now this has got a different floor in it. So it's still a laminate floor, but it looks like tile. Now, if you guys remember, we come up with 13 color variations for these model homes that you can pick from. Still, it's got the farm style sink. Still got our high-end cabinets that are soft clothes. Um, it's still got, this one has got the air exchanger, double dormers. Again, all these are on our website. This is called the Lexington. You know what? Let me see if I can't get up in here. Now, Lexington has got some really cool features. It's a different floor plan than the, than the, uh, the Freedom. It's because it's got a, this L-shaped kitchen, and the kitchen and bathroom are not across from each other. Now, there's been a few people said, hey, I like this kitchen. I love this kitchen, and there's a lot, but we're still... All right, so let me show you a little bit about this floor plan. This is the Lexington. I'm really considering a couple things because some people have said, hey, how do, you, how do you add a downstairs living room to the Lexington? Well, it's just not there. And let me point out why it's not there. Now, you guys can put a bedroom, a bed in the living room. and that, A lot of tiny homes do that. My personally, I live in a credit box, a 16-foot in credit box myself. And of course, my bed is in my living room. But this home is designed to have a living room, kitchen, all one big room. You got all this area that gives us feeling and I can see up in the loft from here. So in our model homes, again, this is painted, polyurethane trim, polyurethane ceilings, air exchanger, mini split. It's ready to move in. You just have to put your blinds up and in. But people are loving this kitchen because it's an L-shaped kitchen, farm style sink, right? Here's our nice cabinets that we have. People are saying, where's your, where's your pulls? We don't put poles because those are a custom thing that you guys want to do on your own. You might want black, you might want uh, um, crystal, you might want anything on here. So we don't put them on there for you. Beautiful. Look at these cabinets. These are high end. You see, look here. It's dovetailed construction. These are maple boards. They're not plywood. It's not particle board. It's maple. Beautiful hardware. We even put these in the Incredibox. Up there is your loft. You can see you get approximately 43 to 45 inches of headroom. Those lofts are not made to walk in. They're made to have a, a nice mattress. You can put some storage up there if you like, some small dressers. 
I've always been an advocate of not doing that because you got to carry that stuff up and down the stairs. But in this particular home, we put the stairs in the back. The reason I like that is because when you have an open staircase coming down like in an eight foot home, you see in so many tiny homes, this one I like is, is, is back here, right? And you can actually, if you think about it, I can lean on this wall. I can grab the wall and grab here. There's a lot of space and I feel safer going up and down these steps, especially at, at night or, you know, coming up. So I'm going to go up these steps and now look at this. Now this is a Lexington. This is made to live up here. This is your sleeping quarters. You know, a lot of people were loving Luann's Christmas house, right? This is a, a, a real similarity of her house. It's not as long as her home. But you come up to this loft, and then what she did is she just put a bookcase there. And it's a see-through bookcase, so you can put shelves, put all your books. So it's, a, it's like you see through it, but you still have some sort of barrier where it's privacy, all right? Two egress windows, each side, polyther polyurethane ceilings. We've trimmed everything out. Look at the floor, how it shines. This is a two by six tongue and groove white pine floor. I just love this house. There's, you know, for the design, for the cost, for what you're getting in this home and how it flows physically. Like you have a nice living room, have a kitchen and we're gonna go through the bathroom, which is right under here. And then the staircase, it's easy to navigate. So if you can see at the very top of these steps right here, so you can see I'm, I'm still standing here. I'm going to go up to the next one, right? And I can still pretty much stand. And then this is my mattress. So I'm just going to sit down here, right? It, this is for going to bed. This is for sleeping, for relaxing. It's not to come up here and walk around. And that's with all of our tiny homes because unless you do a reverse loft and an easy access and all that kind of stuff and redo the things, but this is the most popular. You come up with these steps, as you can see, old Ace here, that the steps are, if you can watch me, I'm gonna walk, it's easy to navigate. They're not tall steps. And if I got a, I got a rough night, I mean, I can, I gotta lean against the wall and I'm not gonna fall on the floor, right? And I'm just grabbing this and just like, oh boy, I don't feel good. I got the flu, and you're, you're good to get downstairs. And now we're in the bathroom using the toilet. Look here. Hey, I wonder. How's that? Is that not called for, is it? Who's this camera person? <laughs> All right. Here we go. So here's the toilet. It's got a vanity. We, we put a vanity here. So you do have a vanity with this small sink. It does fit. If you guys, if we were going to, why are you showing the plumbing? Is there any reason why you, you had to show the plumbing, didn't you? Okay, so you have a vanity. This is an access to the shower head, right? So you have a shower stall in here. If anything ever breaks, you just pull that off. You can get in there and get to your shower stall. The floor, the laminate floor still comes through here like it did. 36 inch shower. Now this is really a good one because in our kitchen and bathroom RGO Freedom Style home, we only can have a 32 inch shower because we have a hallway between the two. This one, we got a 36 inch shower. And also, the water heater's under the stairs, so we try to utilize all the, all the space we can. And then over here is your washer and dryer. So I love this kitchen. I love this kitchen. I love this bathroom because you got a 36 inch shower, vanity, toilet. You have this right here. This is your um, washer and dryer. The only thing is I hate is the storage underneath there. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it does not have, and I don't know where else to put it, but we don't have a closet, all right? And I know that is, um, watch out bud. It's like, okay, we're, so what do I do? Do I build the house, you know, longer? You know, you can change it all over the place. And there are places to put storage. All right, of course, you know, you can put it here. We talked about, yeah, on along the wall, we talked about Lou Ann. Uh, it's a real popular, she's a sweetheart. She lives here and we designed her home and, and uh, she bought, and like a lot of other people, they buy a lot of things from Ikea or something and they put all their closet space in and they start thinking about it. That's the one part where you gotta get probably some, just some 
live in it and think about where you're going to put stuff, right? I know in, uh, in a lot of homes, people in this living room, if you've got a love seat and a TV, sometimes they'll have an armoire here. They may have a dresser in here that they can decorate and it'll have their clothes in it, right? For me to, to, to design, and I know we need closets, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you, that's probably the minus to this home, this design, our closets. But even in our big Birmingham, it doesn't have a big closet to store things. You know, we could probably add a couple more feet here, but I'm, I come in this dilemma because I'm like, okay, I gotta have it cost, right? We don't wanna get it too expensive. We want to make it your beautiful floor plan and we want to have all the amenities in here and it's really hard to compact all that stuff into a tiny home now i'm sure there's tiny home builders and there's people that are just saying hey you know what we got closets we got that and you do but then there's other things that you're going to spare you're going to you're going to you're going to take away from like if this living room wasn't so big and the staircase was in another place and we utilized the staircase and everything, and I'm sure everybody right now is saying, you can do this, you can do that, you can do this. And I'm glad you're thinking that way is because I'm, a, I'm giving you this, I'm just being open to you and I'm showing you. And it, it, it strikes um, your imagination and you guys start thinking, you're like, Randy, you can do this. And I appreciate it. And you do, and people send us tons of, of, of ideas and I like all the inventions. I remember when I first started, I said, you know, I don't have time to research all the inventions and all the new stuff that's coming out. And you guys send them to us a lot. People send me uh, emails all the time saying, hey, did you see this? Did you see that? It's great for storage, great for uh, like a water system. And hey, what you can put over your sink to dry your, your dishes. And I remember, um, who was it? I think Gloria has something over here and she dries her dishes over. Oh, there's a few other ladies that did that. This can actually hold an upper cabinet. You could put upper cabinets along here too. Shelving, there's all kinds of stuff. So I really think that you need to morph into living in this. Like I'm just looking here, I know you got a mini split, but the mini split's gonna blow out. You could actually have a nice shelf across here to either house, um, look here, I got a string hanging off me. You could house personal items, storageable items that you need. And, or stuff like Ace can chew up if you want. <laughs> what? What? Am I doing something wrong? All right. Hey, this is going to be a little bit of a long video, but I'm loving all these tiny homes that we have here. And I just wanted to point these out. It's been a while since I've been in the Lexington. The next one is the Birmingham. All right. Are you guys with me? All right. Tell you what. We're going to call it a stopo rollo right here. And we're going to, we're going to go to a Birmingham and I'm going to, that way you guys can stop this one, go to the next video and we'll call it a Birmingham tour. That way you don't have to listen to me bag all the, uh, babble all the time. And I think Ace is bored too. What do you think, buddy? Hey, Ace. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, let's go. You can't take that with you. No, you gotta leave it. You can't, you can't, no. You gotta leave, come on, let's go. Good boy, come on. Come on, good boy.